Good morning, folks. Good morning. Uh, you find me in the glamorous uh, location today of uh, Car Park and Forfa. Yep. <laughs> Welcome to today's little uh, video. We're on the hunt today for two things. First thing, a Forfa bridey. You can't come to Forfa without stopping for a bridey. So there's a usual, there's two shops that compete, I think, with each other for brideys. And I think it's Saddlers, I think I normally go to. So we're going to go and get a bridey from there. Um, and then we're going to quickly just nip up the glens and see if we can see some snow. There's loads of snow in the mountains. So we're going to stop in our usual position. Uh, what position? Is that what you say? Usual point. Uh, up Glen Clover. Um, Gela Car Park. I think it was called Gela Car Park. I think so. And uh, we're going to check out the views from there. And um, get about lunch. And then we've got to get back. Um, I've got to go to the doctor and stuff like that. So I um, need to get back for a certain time. So... That's the plan. So come with me and uh, let's go and try and get some brideys, first of all. So this is uh, Forfa, folks. This is the, the centre of Forfa. Forfa, Forfa, Forfa. It's got lots of oldie shops and uh, also lots of uh, new shops too, like Costa and Greg's. <laughs> so let's head to the bridey shop. There's a shop there, folks. Saddlers, very helpful. Nice uh, staff in there. All right, this is Osnaberg Street, home of the... Well, I think it's actually shut now, this pub. Osnaberg used to be the, well, the most haunted building in Forfa. Several ghost stories. So this is uh, the quaint little street here. Osnaberg Street. Got a couple of little shops and a pendant pottery and a chip shop. And it's just off the main, uh, the main high street. Very nice. Folks, here we go. With our first stop is just here, the viewpoint, going up to Glen Clover, going up to Gala Bridge, which is just down and along. But I don't know if you can see the actual mountains there. Does the camera actually picks it up? Let's have a look. Make it a little bit darker. But yeah, certainly snow on top of the hills. Not a lot, but um, enough just to say we've seen some snow, folks. There's the snow. Okay, so we've arrived at Tisgela Bridge Car Park, folks. Um, I'll put a wee clip in there of me just coming up here. Um, it's one of our favourite little places to stop, especially when you get a nice day like today. We've got the sun out so so far, and we've got some beautiful views of the actual hills. We've got the uh, Gela Bridge behind me. So, yeah, it's beautiful here. So I've got a flask, I've got a sani, 
<laughs> These are the things you do, folks, when you've got a spare couple hours. Um, quite windy when you walk up here, though. Let's flick you around and I'll show you the view. There we go. Spectacular view over Glen Clover from Gela Bridge. Look at that. Let's just zoom in. So we've got uh, Glen Clover, we've got Loch Brandy. So I think there's going to be a lot more snow tonight. So we came back here tomorrow. Um, we'll have a lot more snow in the hills, but it's still a beautiful sight. Yeah, I've got the mic on because it's windy, but all you can hear is sheep buying, which there's loads of sheep just walking at the back there. You can hear the little uh, trickle of the, the water there behind me, or in front of me. And then just silence, folks. Just silence. Breathe in the fresh air. Beautiful. Now we've got a park bench across there, so we'll go and obviously investigate the park bench. And uh, then we'll come back and have some lunch. Right, I've left the car park and we're going to walk across Geller Bridge. Yeah, it's quite a modern bridge. I'm not sure what was here before. I don't think maybe knocked it down the original one and built a new one. I don't know. But uh, there you go. There's my car just parked in the car park. That's uh, on the other side. They've got two car parks. I always prefer the one down there. But this is the one that's got the bench, so we're going to go across here. And uh, let's have a little look. They've got a little fishing hut too, and some steps going down to the river as well. What a beautiful day. If that sun just stays out, that'd be nice. Actually, I've just spotted a picnic bench way down the far end as well. So maybe that's where we could go for, for lunch. So here's the park bench on the other side. Just been sitting watching the kestrels there. You can hear them up in, uh, in the sky, obviously. There's a little fishing hut, hut upside the bridge. And here's a little uh, park bench. Love memory of Harry and Dorothy Miller from all the family, oh, that was nice. And this is the view you've got from here. Right, we'll have a wee seat with Harry and, was it Margaret, was they? Oh, Dorothy, sorry, Harry and Dorothy. Yeah, Harry and Dorothy have we seat and just uh, actually you can see a little peak of uh, snow just in front of me there. Beautiful. Simple things, folks, you see, simple things. And of course, folks, somebody has to spoil it by fly tipping. Look at that. So annoying. See if you catch them. Right, let's go down the stairs. Look, Daffy's are out. Spring's coming soon. Oh, steps down to the water's edge. That big rock out there, look. All on its own. Big stone. Now, just uh, speaking about the stones there, we were talking yesterday about old uh, TV series, and uh, there was one called Children of the Stones, which was uh, back in the 70s. I used to freak myself and jag out. It's not like the powers from the Standing Stones used to affect these kids. But uh, anyway, so I put it on YouTube last night. All the episodes are on YouTube. And uh, it just, it's the most bizarre thing. I watched about 20 minutes of it and it just didn't make sense at all. It was so 1970s. It had a few well-known names in it, like Ian Cuthbertson and a few other people. Um, but then, where it is, it's all like, there's hundreds of stones. I just thought it was like a studio all these standing stones, but it's actually a proper place down in uh, Wiltshire. And uh, the next video popped up was the Cool Dudes Walking Club. And um, I forget the guy's name, the comedian guy. But he actually goes down there and explores all these stones. And he actually mentions that uh, the Children of the Stones is one of his favorite TV shows when he was younger. So that was a bizarre coincidence. 
don't know why I'm looking to go across the road. <laughs> There's no cars. So yeah, the children of the stones. Look up on YouTube, folks. It's the most bizarre kids TV show. Right, heading back to the car. Oh, I've got the geese. Where are they? Are they geese? I don't know if you saw them, folks. I think it was geese. Um, I've seen loads the other day as well from uh, Montrose Basin. Actually, did you get geese up here? I'm not sure. Um, right, so today's lunch is sponsored by um, Sour Joe, Sourdough Joe in Methven. The best bread in town, sourdough obviously. So today I've got uh, sourdough bread, we've got lettuce, tomato, mustard. We've got a little bit of chilli jam, I think. Salad cream and some cheese. Oh, spoiled it by cheese slices because I couldn't find any cheese, proper cheese. So I've only got cheese slices today, so um, let's give it a go. And coffee today is sponsored by Krispy Kreme for all your donut needs. Mm. Good coffee today. watching all the sheep. Those and those of sheep just walking about, getting herded up the hill there. Um, so I think it was four years ago today, that was our first lockdown. Well, this not today, but this week was the first lockdown where we all got sent home from work, had to shut all the shops and stay at home, basically, which was a novelty for the first uh, few days. So all the uh, photographs and videos are starting to pop up on all your social media channels. Uh, so four years ago, folks, that was the first one, and then how long afterwards was it? Was shut down for six months. I can't actually remember now. See, it's amazing how you forget. I think the first lockdown was three or four months, maybe. Could have been longer. I'm sure we worked from home for six months, went back to the shop, then came home again for another three months. I can't actually remember. So it's amazing how we just forget all about it. But yeah, four years since since the first lockdown. Do you remember I came up here? when we were allowed to travel again, which must have been the second lockdown. And it's the, the day or a couple of days after they said, right, you're allowed to travel a bit further now. I just jumped in my car, because my car hadn't been jumping for so long. Um, I went to see Jack, went to see our mum, and then came up here just for a, a drive, just to get a bit of different scenery, because I haven't seen the hills for months and months on end. So yeah, here we are, back four years later. So while the sun's out, we're going to go for just a little bit of a walk up the road here. I do remember seeing a, a sign for a walk that goes up the hill, but I think it's quite far down. But uh, we'll go for a little wander and then uh, we'll turn back. So back out the uh, car park. I'm just going to walk along the road basically. And uh, maybe around that bend, I think that's where the movie sign was for a path that goes up the hill. I remember I was mentioning about the old bridge. I think that's maybe the remains there. I think that's where the old bridge was, folks, across that bit. I'll see if we can find any pictures uh, online. Oh, you got to laugh. Um, not seen any cars for half an hour. Then the minute I got onto the road, three cars all come at once and a lorry, a, a dustbin thing. I had to stop and they all had to stop each other and pull in and... <sighs> Yeah, you know, they're all heading up there. Right, I can see the sign here for a walk. It's only five minutes actually from the car park. It's not as far as I, I thought. So let's go and see what it says. I've no intentions of doing this walk. I just wanted to see where it went. Right, it says public path to Glen Moy, two miles. There we go. Well, we may as well go up and have a look. So there's no sheep or no cows on route. But yeah, let's have a look. I never know if the signs appear backwards when you actually watch them. It looks like it's backwards when you see it on the screen here. A lot of bird noise. Right. Let's have a wee hike up here. And see what there is to see. Maybe we'll find a stone circle or something. Hidden away on the top of the hill. Ooh, a nice little babbling brook up the side of the road here. And got some sheep in the fields there. I've got some houses up here, so let's just try and bypass them. I've got a lot of dogs barking and a uh, sign pointed this way, but it just kind of ends and just goes to a field. 
So is this still the path, do you think? I think you can't get Google Maps up here because there's no signal. But it is lambing seasons. Some of these sheep have got lambs. And there's one loose one up here. way along there and it looks a bit muddy folks so I think we can turn back. I just wanted to have a, a nosy just to see where it went. And you can see how quick the weather changes because um, it looks like there's a bit of a storm happening there up at Loch Brandy. See the mist coming down. So there'll be a bit of snow to imagine on top of the hills there. I think in the valley there, that's Loch Brandy. You can walk right along the top of that ridge. So down the path we go. Maybe one for a summer's day when the weather's a bit better. It didn't look very interesting to be honest with you folks, but uh, We'll look it up online when we get a signal. It's only two miles. Let's see, uh, see where it goes. But a lovely day just for a little, a little stroll. Yeah, there's one random picnic table right at the end here, then it says private property, no dogs, so you can't go any further. So yeah, this is it, folks. This is Geller, Geller Bridge. Oh, nice wee shot of my car there, look. With the hills in the background. Okay, so while I'm heading back to the car, um, I think we'll drive down to Kotaki or Katachi next. We'll check out the Deal's Stain, the Devil's Stone. Not stop there for a wee while. Um, but I'll put some clips on in here, like I normally do, of what's been happening through the week. Um, what have we been doing? Apart from working, been into Dundee, went to play darts, uh, went up to Comrie. Um, so yeah, I put a few little clips in here, folks. And we'll see you probably at Kotachi or Kotachi. See if a Reese boy wins 25 mil. Let's just get this on camera just in case. This could be it. This could be it. 25 mil. 25 mil. It's 25 mil. It's 25 mil. We're meant to be playing at 30, but somebody intruded, so. Hi folks, welcome to Sleepy Hillock Cemetery on our little uh, day out today. Just not found a wee game of darts in uh, Montrose. There's the birds in the haunted house, look. I don't you can hear them. I just want to check out the sunset, folks, without uh, slipping. That's why I fell here last time. It's very cold and very windy at the minute. So we're uh, heading out the basin to check out the sunset. Yeah, we've gone from warm weather back to freezing cold weather. And we're going to get snow again. Snow in the hills uh, tomorrow or the next day. Um, see the full moon there, beautiful moon. So yeah, let's go and check out this uh, beautiful sunset tonight. Let's see if we can capture it here at the basin. One of my favourite little spots to come. Might be a bit cloudy, but uh, let's see. So the tide is actually just going out. I think, or is it coming in? It's going out. There you go. Behind a cloud at the minute. Oh, you can feel the wind. Oh, 
as uh, Montrose that way. There's the moon. It's got a bit dark. Hang on. There's the, uh, there's the basin. Need to wait for that cloud to go yes, away. It's all wrapped up. Um, as I said, the, we've got the cold weather snap back again. It's oh, it's absolutely freezing. Um, this time last year we were sitting, my memories came up, we were actually sitting out on the beach. Not actually sunbathing on the beach, but it was that nice a day. We were actually sat on the beach with a picnic. Uh, and now it's Baltic again. But never mind, folks. Never mind. So we'll wait here for five minutes, and uh, if not, we'll just uh, head up road. I think that's it, folks. I think it's just going to hide behind the cloud now. I don't think we're going to see it come out again. But anyway, that was the, that was a tiny sunset tonight. Just kind of miss the the best bit. It's gone. That's the old signal box, folks. The old signal box. The old um, train line used to go down here. That's where we to walk. Now is the train line. Anyway, welcome to Perthshire, folks. You've not been in my videos for a while, Jack. I don't think so, no. Because your videos have all been on the coast and on <laughs> waves and things. And I'm just welcome. not interested in that. Welcome to uh, Perthshire. We're well, having a wee walk down to Dundurn Hill. And we're going to throw Jack down to cure all his <laughs> ailments and diseases. Uh, Omar, Omar Farmer Giles. Yes. Is, oh. It's lovely here. It's just parked. Nice Actually, this is the car park. We couldn't get into those. So we're parked further down hill. Yes, you can tell that was a signal box, folks. Look. The old signal box, which is now a little house. I do it. It's actually, you can, you can, it says visitors welcome, Mosaic Studio. All oh, the babbling little brooks here. This is the sound, sound of Comrie. Um, now, speaking about old railway lines, this is the, uh, I'll say, old railway line we're on here. You can tell by the cuttings here, and the, is that what you call it? The cuttings. You can tell by the big bits at the side there. I do. I love still game. That's my favourite. I think you're obsessed with still game. Here's another person that hasn't been in my video for a long time. It's Rosie. Hi. This is Rosemary. Hello. And uh, we're on this nice walk today. So I said we're going to go to Dundurn Hill maybe. Actually, we're going to try and see if we can get some snow. Normally around this corner you'll see a snowy uh, mountain. So we've some nice, uh, some nice views. I have to come across a mini. This is a two-arched viaduct, this one. You can see there's one of the old uh, railway structures. Actually, you probably could get down there, but it's a bit slippy. There's the old railway line. Hi, folks. Welcome. Welcome back to uh, Montrose. And you can see, look, the wee man's back. The wee man is back. He's been installed again, but we've got more stormy weather here. It's been a miserable day and it's going to be a miserable week. The forecast is uh, pretty horrendous this week, folks. We've got rain, we've got storms, we've got uh, snow on the way. Um, it was actually parked just along about a minute ago, but we can't get, get, get hit by waves. So you can see we have to go wash my car now because it's all salty. Uh, but yeah, it's good to see the wee man back, the statue. He disappeared for a while. As I say, now he's uh, back in his rightful place. Is he going to get battered by waves again? That is the story. Not the story, the question. I don't think we're parking down the seafront splash. Because you're getting hit by the waves, your car gets all covered in salt. So I need to go and give it a wee wash on the way uh, back. So I'm going to try and venture out, even though it's raining, I'm going to venture out just for a few minutes, just to try and get some... Uh, some pictures folks so come with me now you can see the seafront splash has all been kind of fixed folks the cars can get back down again which is good to see um but this yeah this is the bit here that's all been done up there's the wee uh statue man actually there's some waves battering the side here yeah i was parked further along but my car was getting hit by uh, the waves so i had to move it a little bit so i will need to go and watch it God, folks, it's miserable today. Absolutely miserable. The day for being inside today. Um, I've got plans this afternoon. But I thought I'd come up here first and see what was going on. So here we go. Back. Back again. This is the third time, is it? The third time in the space of two weeks we've been down this area. Oh, freezing. It's good to see the wee man back though. 
even though it's getting pelted by a, a sea again. Right, welcome back live, folks. Live, well, not live, you know what I mean? Back to the original video now. Um, now, we couldn't really get stopped in Kotaki because, or Kotachi, the car park was full, the schools were coming out, and um, the gates were locked to where the giant stain thing is. So I just turned around and came back. And we've stopped this little bit here at the old bridge. All the trees are getting chopped down here. This is all demolished in the storm as well. So I'm just going to try and get down to the uh, other side. This was all flooded at one point, folks. The water was way up here and flooding. It's crazy. Hey, look at this, it's lovely. Nice little uh, bit of rapids going on. I've got a little bit of uh, stony beach there. Could be some uh, skiffing stones. Try and get a picture of the old bridge for you. It's quite hard to get a picture. Beach, look. Water's actually lovely and clear, as you'd expect down here. We'll try and skip uh, some stones. Better film this for Jag. Fungi, fungi. There you go. Can you just make out the old bridge there? That's what we drove across here. So I think we're going to end today's little trip here uh, at Katachi, just outside Katachi. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Very enjoyable little trip again today. Seen the snow. We've got our bridies. I'll have that for tea. Have a quick stop in uh, at Tesco's on the way home. Get a couple more bits. And then uh, I think what I'll do is I'll head down on the way home. We'll just sit at uh, Vicky Park in Arbor Road for a stay. And I sometimes just edit my videos down there, just sitting at the seaside. So we'll just do that maybe. So thanks so much for watching, folks. Stay safe, stay healthy, love one another, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching.